jumping site at Hakuba? Yes, this is a jumping site which will be actually used for the next Nagano Olympic Games. This jumping site is the so-called plastic jumping hill and the people are able to practice and train even in the summer season. You can see a running course for the ski jumpers coming down on this rail. This is surrounded by such a beautiful green scenery. We have a special system under the jumping rail where the ski jumper takes off. This system will be able to measure the force production of the jumper who produces power during the jump. We have been studying the takeoff direction of the jumpers by measuring the jumping angle. Apart from these studies, many jumpers, coaches, and researchers of ski jumping had an interest in measuring the force production at the takeoff. The first trial has been done in a laboratory as a simulated jump. But here in Hakba, this is the first chance we have to use a system which is able to measure the force of the jump during the actual jump. I want to briefly introduce the system. As you can see in this picture, there are five panels, two meters in length, so the total length of the plate is 10 meters. These plates function as a single plate and are able to measure the total weight, including the body weight, skis, and everything. Also, this system will be able to measure the force production against the ground at the takeoff continuously and also simultaneously. Look at this in more detail. We are looking from upside to downside in this picture. Here, in the last 10 meters, the force plate system is buried. You will be able to understand more easily from the side view. Here, you can see the special pole at the edge of the course, which is a system used to measure the timing of the takeoff. Now, let's see the result of the measurement of force production during the takeoff. This is a result from an international competition. The upper line or graph is one of the results from a top Japanese athlete, Mr. Harada. The lower graph is from a jumper who came 17th in the same competition. As you can easily understand from the result, Mr. Harada produced a large force curve during his takeoff 
compare with the athlete of the lower glove. From this result, we can understand the powerful jumping of Mr. Harada. Another point is the timing. The final part of the jumping course is called Kante. Let's focus our eyes to the place of the edge of the Kante, on the glove. Mr. Harada finishes his fourth curve at the edge of the Kante, but the other athlete has not finished his fourth curve at the Kante. This means the other athlete has late timing when he takes off at the Kante. By using this system, we can clearly see whether each athlete has produced his best performance or not during their takeoff. This picture appears to be in a laboratory, not an actual jumping site. Can you please tell us about this picture? This is to train for the approaching phase. In the approaching phase, we have to mention about the most important thing, that is the air resistance. When the air resistance increases, jumpers lose their running speed. The jumper changes his posture, attempts to reduce the air resistance. But nobody knows their best posture until after experimental test. The wind tunnel experiment is performed to evaluate the best posture of landing by using almost the same wind speed as during an actual jump. Each athlete finds his best posture in the wind tunnel. The athletes can check his air resistance by watching the monitor of the force of the air resistance we call drag on the panel which is just in front of the athletes. This system is also very helpful to support the jumpers during their training. Recently, so-called V-style jumping has been introduced and studied. The distance of the jump has clearly become longer by using this new jumping technique. This new jumping form has also been found out to be the best jumping posture in air by using the wind tunnel experiment. The jumpers study hard and train hard by using these scientific results or scientific data for better jumping for a longer distance. These wind tunnel experiments have been done to collect scientific data and also for the athletes so that they will know the best feeling when jumping in the air. You're welcome.